Here I'm going to show you how to assemble a terrain material for Fair 2D. The first thing that you're going to need is two different textures. The first of which should be a fill texture. Uh, this should loop on all edges. And the second one should be uh, an edge atlas. And this is going to contain all the edge images necessary for your terrain. Uh, to go with that, you'll also need a material for each of these. Um, these are just standard Unity materials. Pick whatever shader you like. Uh, check the shader video for reference on which shaders you should use. Um, and once you have those, then you'll need to create a terrain material asset. So from there, you can just right-click, say Create Fair 2D Terrain Material. Um, this will give you a really basic interface. Uh, just assign a material for the edge. This will be Jungle on the left. This is our edge material. And then the other one will be the fill material. So this is also a jungle fill unlit. Okay. So once we have those in place, it'll allow us to open a material editor. So if we open a material editor, it'll give you this interface. And so you can see uh, we're using a pretty high resolution texture. And this can fill up the screen quite a bit. Uh, so I'm going to make this a little bit easier to look at. Um, so if we go to the jungle edges, we can temporarily put this down to just say max size of 512. And that will make it a lot smaller in our terrain editor, terrain material editor. So now that we have this here, we need to start assembling things. So we've got a, a drop down menu here, one for each edge, and we also have uh, additional edges. Uh, these are not done through the auto selected edge, uh, but they are accessible through the edge override handles. You just keep clicking and it'll uh, go onto these. So um, so first we'll start with the top edge and we're just going to create a really basic outline that way we can start putting things in the scene. So here is the top edge, here is the left, so I use left, and this is going to be this one right here. Um, and then we're going to say right, use right, with this one here and one for the bottom. So these are not uh, completely assembled yet. I just want to get these done quickly so that uh, we can start looking at it in the scene view. Once we have it in the scene view, we can start making sure that things line up really well. Okay, so we have all four edges here. So if we go back to the scene view and control T, uh, this is a new one, so it won't be in our history. And I didn't name it, so it's this one here. So you can see here, we've got really basic, and it almost looks good to start with. Uh, you can see that it doesn't quite line up with the corners and everything. Um, and uh, the fill is uh, at a different resolution uh, since we didn't bump that one down. Uh, but this is good to start with. So if we look at this, uh, we can go back to our top and start assembling some of the caps. So you can see here, this is just the edge. It doesn't have a cap on it at all. Um, so on the top, uh, and this is not laid out, so I have a simple mode here. And simple mode works if you have like body and then cap and then cap. This does not work for simple mode, so I'm going to uncheck this. All right, so first thing here, uh, right cap. So that's the one that we're looking at. <laughs> you can see it's just plopping that at the end. So we're going to tell it to use a very specific chunk of the texture. And so this can be, uh, once we have this kind of in place, it can be good to, to look at like what this number is and uh, factor that in over here. So this one, um, we'll just say this is 61.5. So if we change this one to 61.5, then that'll be the exact same height and it'll be a little bit easier to match up. I'm going to pull this edge in so that it's flush up against there. And I'll drag this one down a little bit until they line up. Okay, cool. Um, I might need to change the size here so that this is, uh, so that's 63.5, 63.5. All right, so a little less clipping there. Uh, cool, cool. Um, so you can adjust that a whole lot and get that a little bit better for your own. Um, but I'm just going to keep going because I want to keep this relatively short. Uh, so we'll do the same thing for the right side. This is 63.5, sorry, left side. So if I look over here at the left, uh, pull this in. Ooh. And j 
shift on the Y axis until it lines up. I'm going to change the width here because this is, yeah, all right. Uh, so that's, that's all right. So um, I'm going to also, if you look at this in context, like this sticks out way over the edge. So if I bring the cap offset a little bit, bring it up there. Same thing with the right side, bring it in a little bit so it lines up better. Cool, cool, that's good. All right, so that's nice. Um, now, I'm also going to do inner edges. So if we look here, um, there's going to be a couple of things that show up here. So first of all, we've got draw order issues. So the sides are showing up over top of this particular top edge. So if we go to um, left, here is a draw order thing. So for draw order, I usually do zero for top, uh, two for the sides, and then one for the bottom. So if I go to the right, you'll see this one over here. So that just pushes it a little back a little bit. Um, and then for bottom, draw order of one. So that'll put it above the sides, but below the top edge if it ever runs into the top edge. All right, so that's good. Um, the other thing is we have this piece over here. Now, so this is drawn to kind of like dangle over top, uh, but we also have another corner in here that kind of blends a little bit better with the uh, the sides. And so I want to use those for inner sides. Uh, so this is a left inner cap. So you can see inner left cap. If I check that, this will be this chunk right here. So I'm going to line that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, and then line it up on the y-axis. And there we go. Let's bring that in a little bit too so that it lines up better there. And so now we have an inner cap. So you can do a lot of really good looking stuff with uh, just inner and outer cap. You don't need perfectly blended angles and stuff like that to get this to look good. Um, this is a little easier to work with sometimes. So same thing with the, the right side. I'm going to use an inner right cap there. And I'm not being super perfect here, uh, again, just for brevity's sake. Um, definitely spend a little bit more time getting all these uh, lined up properly with your, your texture. Um, it's, uh, it's a good idea to build your texture with certain units in mind, so you can just plop in numbers right here and know exactly like, oh yeah, this is like 64 pixels wide and stuff like that. So it, it can be really helpful if you build your texture with that in mind. Uh, so the next thing here, we want to set up the colliders so that the colliders match up well with our, our textures. So I'm going to go up here um, and shift the vertical offset for this one. And so you can see that brings it down a little. And uh, I'm going to reduce the thickness of this so that it's not sticking out too much. And you'll also see it sticking out over the edges of the caps and all that. Um, there's a couple of uh, options here to, to, to work with that. So I'm going to show you the right cap. If we take the collider size, this um, extends the collider out onto the cap. And then we have some options here, collider types. So rectangle is the default, but you can also do circle, which kind of rounds the edges. And there's also connected. Connected gives a seamless connection to the adjacent collider. Uh, and so we're probably going to need to adjust the, the side colliders as well to get this to look nice. Uh, but let's click on the left side, make sure that our colliders work there too. So on this one, change this connected, um, bring it in. Oh, no, not that one, this one. Here, so that's a little bit smoother. All right, cool. And then with left, bring that in a little bit, make it a lot less thick. And uh, we can also bring in the, so this is the simple mode for this particular segment. Since it doesn't have any caps on it, it gets a simple interface, which is kind of nice. We can use the, uh, just the cap offset. Yeah, cap offset. To, to bring that in a little bit, give it a little bit more room here on the edges to breathe. Um, same thing with the right side. Um, bring that in, make it a little uh, vertical offset, a little less thick. And there we go. And so you can go through um, your whole mesh, uh, tweak this perfectly, make it look exactly like what you want. 
Um, there's a lot of good options here, so you should be able to achieve what you're looking for. Um, I would say connected doesn't work super well for the inner corners, so I recommend leaving those as rectangle. Uh, the overlap isn't going to be a problem there. Um, another good thing that's that's really nice here is uh, you can assign a physics material on each edge. So you can give the top a particular physics material or the side a particular physics material. Like maybe this one is is kind of sticky or frictiony, and this one. Uh, let's players slide around or you could even add in a new edge out here um, just say like this or something like that I don't know and assign like an ice material or something and uh, these are accessible through edge overrides so if I go right there so that's the the uh, first additional edge which is kind of cool um, yeah so that's how you assemble a a terrain material. Um, it should be pretty, pretty like it's a it's a little bit of a complex process. But uh, once you have your texture set up, like that's that's the hard part. Like assembling this part should be relatively straightforward. Uh, as far as actually um, painting one of these, uh, just keep in mind that the orientation of your textures is always kind of like in an up direction. So you can see like this is the bottom and this is the left and this is the right. Um, and that actually like they, they all kind of point in this direction, like this is the, the up direction. So make sure you're painting them or once you're finished painting with them, rotate them so that they fit this orientation. It can be a little bit weird with uh, some of the caps and everything, but it's it's not too bad. All right, uh, thank you very much. Um, good luck with your material creation. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this. Um, and don't forget when you're done with this to put it back to the original resolution uh, so that you're getting all the pixels that you put in.